Hey everybody, welcome back to Conscientious Omnivore. My name is Pal. Today it is finally getting to be close enough to springtime that uh, I'm going to start doing some work here in the garden. So um, I'm excited. Uh, I kind of picked out this spot here um, that I'm going to uh, make one bed to start with. So I've got some contractor paper here. I'm going to lay that down, put some rocks on the corner so it doesn't blow away in the wind. And then I'm going to start piling on the mulch that we uh, made uh, you can see that in the previous video um, how we did that, but uh, I'm gonna just start kind of laying it out probably start kind of right around maybe here and just come this way a little bit And we'll see what we can get laid out. I don't know how much mulch I actually have and I want to have at least a couple inches So um, we'll see how how much area I can cover so we'll start there might do another bed kind of over here somewhere um, after but uh, we'll see how much mulch um, we have so uh, yeah, um, let's get started. I'm gonna just lay out the paper and then uh, I'll show you guys in steps how, how we progress. And just really quickly, I did wanna show off um, that the wall is still standing uh, nice and neat. It's my first video ever when I was building this wall. So check that out if you haven't got a chance um, to see it yet. But um, I also wanted to show that uh, the stuff I backfilled here, um, I had planted some uh, tulip bulbs that uh, that were in the kind of mess that this uh, yard was in before we uh, bought the house. And um, yeah, I just like planted them hoping that they would kind of come back out. And they did. So we got a bunch here, uh, here, here, and even some more over there. So hopefully these will be flowering soon. Which is kind of a nice sign that spring is definitely on its way. And, um, you know, as usual, there's never an end to all the work, so I still got to move all this stuff, and there's a lot of things I still want to do in here, and, and I'll be getting to work on the wall now that the uh, thaw is, is happening, so, um, yeah, just getting the last little bits of snow to melt, and I'm um, looking forward to that, too. Okay, so you can see the contractor paper's down now, um, and for anybody who doesn't know, this is just a, kind of like a really thin cardboard. You can get this at, like, a hardware store. It's basically used for, like, when you're moving or uh, you're painting or something and you want to just get something down that will protect your flooring from any kind of like debris or kind of dust and stuff like that so um, it's really cheap we had some from after our move left over it was just rolled up and I wasn't really planning on using it for anything else so um, this will serve as basically the um, kind of cardboard to kill off the grass that's underneath here we're gonna layer on the mulch on top and then um, you know this will just kind of biodegrade uh, slowly but surely it's just paper so there's there's nothing really um, fancy here and then uh, yeah I've just got some rocks on the corners to hold it down there is a little bit of overlap maybe about like not even a foot here uh, between the two layers and uh, yeah let's get some mulch on here all right guys I used up all of the mulch that I had and I just spread it out um, you know as kind of evenly as possible I think I have about maybe, I don't know, about four or five inches covering everything. Um, you know, as you probably have seen in my mulch video, uh, a lot of this is stuff that I had from, from pruning the trees in the back here and the elderberries and stuff like that. And also I collected a lot of um, Christmas trees. Now I know some people in the comments, and I've read about this uh, before doing it, um, uh, many people don't know, but some people did, and they commented on my video too that... Uh, Christmas trees are often sprayed with like flame retardants and a bunch of other nasty stuff. Um, so I, I don't know if that's common like everywhere, but I know it happens in the U.S. I don't believe it happens here in Hungary. So, um, you know, I, I felt safe uh, doing it, but, um, you know, hopefully that, that isn't an issue. I know like in the U.S. too, I mean, like if you're fresh cutting your tree, that's not going to be sprayed with anything either. So I'm hoping that, um, you know, these, these trees are going to be all right. Um, and like I said, you know, you got about, I don't know, a good, good four or five inches, maybe a little more. Um, yeah, maybe like even six inches in some spots. And, uh, hopefully this will be, you know, breaking down over time. Um, you know, if anybody isn't familiar with this no-till method, uh, definitely recommend you guys checking out, um, people like Sepp Holzer, people like Masanobu Fukuoka, um, Paul Gauci, uh, James Prigioni, who I've mentioned many times in, in other videos, um, definitely check out their information. They're, um, you know, definitely big proponents of no-till, uh, saves you a lot of work, um, saves a lot of water. You don't have to water as much. The, the moisture gets kind of, um, you know, retained a lot better. Um, the soil structure will definitely build over time and, uh, and improve. And if anybody hasn't seen it, I recommend checking out my, um, garden transformation video, because you'll see that most of this whole section that's under here 
Um, this this uh, was previously some kind of like wooden shed or something like that, and uh, there was quite a like a depression here. And what I did was I filled it up with a bunch of rotting like um, you know tree uh, and wood material from the garden that was you know kind of over here just left to rot. Lots of tree stumps and everything, and I smashed it apart with an axe and um, you know broke it up as much as I could, and then I covered that. Uh, with manure and then topsoil so you know that's already been hopefully breaking down for a year or so um, a little more now uh, by the time I start planting and obviously the grass grew on top of that and um, now we're gonna have the cardboard kill off the grass and when I go to plant you know what we'll do is um, pull back some of the mulch get seeds planted do a thin layer of mulch and then hopefully that's where the you know the plants are gonna come out, um, back uh, out from and the the weeds are going to be kept down by the thick layer of the mulch and this is also going to be um, you know nutrients for the plants you know as the years go by and as this slowly starts to break down i do have plans to get you know additional um, organic matter in the form of either like spring clippings from people uh, tidying up their yards or also in the fall time collecting leaves. So we'll see, you know, how I can keep progressing on this. And uh, as I've mentioned before too, when I w finish my retaining wall here, I intend to raise that a little bit, that level there as well. So I'll need more material for that. And um, yeah, big plans. So uh, definitely check back in. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already done so. Um, thank you to everybody who is and uh, really appreciate your support. Hope uh, these gardening videos are going to be, you know, getting more interesting as the plantings go in and as, you know, things start to, um, you know, come to fruition. Um, you know, I'm trying to be realistic with my expectations here. I don't think, you know, everything uh, is going to, you know, be necessarily a huge success the first year. I am thinking long term. And, um, and I think that's important when you're planting your garden. I'm not, not in it for, the, you know, the one season. Um, I think the best thing to do is to just start and you learn as you go and things will get better over time and um, you know you get better ideas of what to plant next to what and things mature um, and you know hopefully the the things that are going to be going in the ground are going to provide us with food for many many years to come some of the trees and bushes so yeah I think that's it for now have a good one everybody see you in the next one bye